guys are moving so quick, I can't even explain the position. Good combination. There's Neil landing several punches as Walden's on the ground. Neil keeps the pressure on and it's broken up, and that's it! Wow! Jeff Neal lands the combination. And for the second time in 11 days, he's a winner inside the octagon. You think that guy wants to fight in the UFC? Jeez. Let's take a sec. Great job. I mean, he's a smaller man. He's, he's a 170 pounder, a true 170 pounder. And just landed a big left hand and was able to pour it on. Beautiful, beautiful job on the finish. 11 days ago. I mean, can you even imagine 11 days ago that you'd be here in this moment with the UFC contract? Not, not at all. Not at all. I thought I was just going to be able to chill, drink some beer, and get fat again, but no, I got the call and it's time to get to work. Neil moving forward once again. Mosey responds. Mosey has a nice slip hook in his own right. Should use that to check the aggression of Neil. We're turning on the neck. Thinking Kimura for a sec, didn't work. Bulldog choke. Oh, it's under the chin and there's the tap. He was born in Austin, Texas. He's a winner inside the octagon in Austin, Texas. Jeff Neal wearing the war paint and will get his hand raised in his UFC debut. All the success he was having on the feet. He ends up finishing it with a choke on the ground. Great stuff, great finishing instincts. I think I hit him on the way in and he hit me and I was hurt so I was like, man, I need to do something quick and I seen his neck, grabbed it and that was a, that was a wrap. And he's pressing forward. And who knows how much Jeff Neal just burned himself out there, right. trying to finish. And Camacho's still there. He can't take many more of these straight left hands, though. I don't care how tough you are, you can't take these straight left hands right on the button that many times. Jeff Neal, yeah, and rightfully man. so. Well deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, that welterweight is, division oh, as a new oh, contender. Man, this dude is good. He's very, very, very good. Oh, Jeff Neal is good. It, it feels so good. Uh, I probably had one of the hardest camps this camp, and it was just, it feels good to finally get it done, get it out of the way, get a win, hopefully get the $50,000 bonus. That would help a lot. <laughs> I, I wish I was voting. His corner is screaming for him to pass. Don't just fight from inside the guard, but, but he's landing good shots from here. You hear the keep, right. the keep yelling out pass, but man, those are big shots from the guard. He's gonna finish him from here. That's it, Jack Neal stops Nico Price tonight. And Nico, not at all happy. But immediately shows his respect to Jeff Neal, who is still perfect 4 0 out in the UFC. He said, God, I hate you. Man, what a heartbreaker of a stoppage for Nico Price, but he was eating some bombs. Okay, two minutes, 39 seconds, TKO. Oh, he got the bombs on. Because he's, he's, he's hard to hit without him hitting you back, so it's like I can't get more than one shot without him throwing shots back at me, so I just said, it. Let's throw some punches. Jeff Neal, extremely, extremely technical. And I'm, I'm interested to see how he sizes up the style of Mike Perry. Mike Perry, oh! oh he hurt him. Like, you, you see the reads, you see him seeing. Oh. Look at that, shin to the chin. And then follows up beautifully. High kick again. Swarms him, but does it intelligently. Bing, bing, bing. Look at this again, one more time. Bang, and it's off a read. He recognized that Mike was anticipating and dropping the hands. And perfectly timed that left high kick. Just a spectacular performance by a guy that as we said coming into this fight is one of the most exciting and promising contenders in this incredibly stacked 170 pound division this guy could be a future champion